안녕하세요. 저는 머리 유스케라고 합니다. His Excellency Ban Ki-moon, Chairperson of the National Council on Climate and Air Quality, Mr. Har t e j o n Mayor of d a e j o n Metropolitan City, and uh, honorable attendees. It is my great honor to give a talk at the Korea, China, Japan Local Government Conference on Regional Innovation toward our carbon neutral society. My name is Yusuke Mori. I'm in the city of Tsukuba as a director general for policy innovation department. Today, I'll be talking about how Tsukuba city has been tackling with social problems to lead carbon neutral society as a science city. Let me introduce myself a bit. I started my career as a government officer at education and science ministry of Japanese government in 2011. After eight years I spent in the field of science and technology policy, I came to our municipality, the city of Tsukuba, two years ago. I put a nostalgic photo with His Excellency Ban Ki-moon when he and I were at John F. Kennedy School of Government of Harvard University in 2017. Okay, so Tsukuba City. Tsukuba City has continued to develop since Tsukuba Science City construction plan approved by Japanese cabinet in 1963. The city has a population of 245,000 and we see 3,500 3, increase every year, which is very rare in Japan where severe aging and decline of population have been observed. 20,000 citizens engaged in research and development activities and 8,000 are PhD holders, that is 10 times as dense as Japan's average. 10,000 are foreign nationals, making Tsukuba a highly diversified area. We are proud of four Nobel laureates in Tsukuba. Also, the city is a home to 150 research institutes. Location is very good, 45 minutes from Tokyo and 60 minutes from the international airport. Now, what is the mission of Tsukuba? We believe our mission is to, to contribute to humankind by improving people's lives through science and technology. Tsukuba City set the mission of a city with science and technology for citizens in Tsukuba Future Plan, which is city's top priority strategic plan. Let's move on to today's specific topic, which is how science city like Tsukuba can contribute to carbon neutral society. First, I will tell you two platforms where various stakeholders collaborate toward carbon neutral or zero emission. The first one is Tsukuba 3 Forum. It was formed in 2007 for open discussions amongst universities, research institutes, and municipalities, and aims to build our low carbon society while harmonizing three E's. Um, which are environment, energy, and economy. To achieve this goal, three task forces, urban structure and transport task force, biomass task force, and next, gen next generation energy task force were formed with the participation of University of Tsukuba for research institutes like National Institute for Environmental Research and Ibaraki Prefecture and Tsukuba City. The second one is the Tokyo Zero Emission Innovation Base. It was established last year based on the environment innovation strategy of the Japanese government. The council aims to initiate an innovative area that pioneers technology-driven zero emission and to make the Tokyo Bay Area the world's first zero emission innovation area. This is an industry, academia, government collaborative initiative that consists of more than 100 organizations. The activities of the Council include developing an area map of private enterprises, universities, national research institutes, and municipalities with information on their activities and sharing those with the other countries, as well as planning research and development, including proposing national projects to the government. Although not located in the Tokyo Bay Area directory, Seven organizations from Tsukuba are core member of the council, 
and National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, whose main campus is located in Tsukuba, has led this initiative as the head. By cooperating with those platforms, Tsukuba City is trying to reduce greenhouse gas emission. CO2 emission in Tsukuba City in recent years have repeatedly gone up and down in the region of 2 million tons, which are expected to rise to 2.5 million tons if no effective action is taken. In order to avoid this future and to contribute to the global target, Tsukuba City set targets to reduce emission by 26% by 2030 compared to 2013. Again, Tsukuba City is expected to become a model low-carbon city by utilizing its advanced knowledge as a science city. In fact, the Japanese government selected Tsukuba City as a model environment city in 2013. It encouraged us to promote projects toward carbon neutral society, which I will talk about in minutes. We further developed the public and private joint initiative and in 2018, we were selected as SDG's future city by the Japanese government. Cities with high potential to achieve sustainable development through the creation of new value in the, in the economy, society, and environment led us to one of the first tier cities on SDGs in Japan. Last year, we revised our global, global warming action plan, which was originally crafted in 2011, based on our previous and ongoing efforts as an environment model city and SDGs future plan, SDGs future city. In this action plan, we set the vision of creating a low carbon and resilient smart city with full citizen participation. Let's move on to more concrete projects toward carbon neutral society. I'll show you some examples. In recent years, Tsukuba City has been undergoing, undergoing development in the area along Tsukuba Express, which is an express line from Tokyo to Tsukuba, and the redevelopment in the area where there used to be the National Public Officer's Housing. Under these circumstances, it was imperative that we show effective low-carbon low solutions and set forth and promote their guidelines for the development. Accordingly, we formulated Skubar City's own guidelines on new buildings and urban development. We recognized the housing districts and neighborhoods that meet the criteria that, uh, of the guidelines as a model environment district so that we can promote low carbon community development. This area called Smart Eco City, Kenkyu Gakuen, um, Kenkyu Gakuen means, means uh, science city in Japanese, by the way, are an example of the model environment districts. In the model environment districts, like Smart Eco City, houses are equipped with home energy management system and the condominiums with building energy management system. In addition to the houses and condo, the whole districts are being developed as a low carbon community where there are solar panels along the pavement, as well as building schools that are environment friendly. Regarding the transport sector of Tsukuba city, it has a very high level of greenhouse gas, gas emission, especially from cars. To help promote the transition to low carbon vehicles, we subsidize the purchase of low carbon vehicles such as EVs and PHVs. Also, we promote electric on-demand self-driving bus and personal mobility for first month, one mile and last one mile for citizens including elderly people and persons with disabilities in order to encourage them to use public transportation rather than everyone uses their own cars. Additionally, we created hydrogen station very first time in Ibaraki prefecture and one of the Tsukuba city's official car is Mirai, which is hydrogen fuel cell car manufactured by Toyota. Furthermore, University of Tsukuba is 
taking a lead role in the initiative to achieve practical use of algae biomass, which is expected to be an alternative fuel to petrol, and so far started an experiment of algae mass culture and conducted a test run of a car that uses algae bio biodiesel plant. These projects have expanded to other parts in Japan. Lastly, I'd like to show you our latest cutting-edge project. University of Tsukuba, with the collaboration to Tsukuba City, recently got funded from Japanese Cabinet Office's Strategic Innovation Promotion Program, or SIP, to promote disaster management and infectious disease control utilizing a hydrogen fuel cell bus. It enables PCL tests, it enables us to do uh, PCL tests even under severe situation of disaster, as well as supplying power at evacuation shelters. However, um, on, uh, honestly speaking, considering current cost of hydrogen energy, it is hard to replace normal vehicle to hydrogen fuel cell system only for carbon neutral. However, by combining other purposes such as disaster management, hydrogen energy could be the first option. Currently, the Japanese government has been promoting super cities. It is like super version of smart city under which technology is utilized, regulations are relaxed, and various data are connected. Scuba City is actively participating in this scheme, and we call our program Scuba Super Science City provides new options by science provide um, diverse well-being for citizens. In order to improve the quality of life for our citizens, Tsukuba City aims to create a community with a spread of inclusiveness where no one is left behind. We aim to create a community where citizens are connected to each other and to the city, where people can make full use of their diverse capabilities and where everyone can harness top-level scientific and technological knowledge in solving various issues in the community. We are planning to provide more than 20 services, as you see in Blue Square, from the field of government, mobility, delivery, medicine, welfare, safety, resilience, to infrastructure. Our attempt, the Super Science City, is for citizens, but at the same time, we believe it would surely contribute to carbon neutral society by optimizing mobility, infrastructure, and energy management, and the digital transformation of government practices. We put all of accumulated knowledge as the best science city in Japan to realize Tsukuba Super Science City for public good. This conference reminded me of very fun moment with colleagues from Korea and China a couple of years ago, when I worked for Japan Korea China exchange program between high school teachers. I hope we could meet in person and deepen discussion in the near future. Thank you very much.